Opening shot, the heavily damaged Enterprise in orbit around a family restaurant. Captain's log, stardate 482137. We have been involved in a damp and terrible battle. However, today is my first birthday in space, so I'm going to have an elaborate cat food dinner with my friend Worf. Dining room of family restaurant. Mr. Worf, I appreciate this present of clothes for my birthday, but as I am a boy, I need me my toys. You have disgraced my father with your words. Q falls out of the ceiling wearing cargo pants. The time for me is here. Q, I see you have a concussion. I am immortal, Picard. I have hurt my head a very big number of time. Q takes a bite of his hand and then turns into a tractor. This is from the past. <laughs> Beta! Huh? Huh? Opening credits, now! Space, what is the point of it? You have no idea. This is the Enterprise, a big circle with a porch. I'm the <laughs> Captain Picard. Come with me. scream for two hours. Pew! 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 Bridge. Data enters carrying a large dessert, which he throws at the view screen. Don't tell me what to eat, Lieutenant. Making a mess is not a crime, but what if it was? <laughs> <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Great question. Is that a human metaphor? And would you please stop speaking with human feelings? Heavy German breathing is heard over the loudspeakers. It's the Borg. I do not believe that is correct. You think I need your help, Mr. Data? I'm the first officer to ever convince a planet to explode. I look forward to doing it again. Jack Membrane is my name now. If you call me Data, I will perform a self-replicating dance until this ship is full of me. <laughs> Riker nods and carefully takes a tiny piece of cake. Another Data enters carrying a swirling green casserole. Yummy. Engineering. Troy enters from a vent and starts singing to Jordy. Jordy, you seem angry with me. Is it because of the nightmares I forced you to have? Nope. Just finishing up a modified laser scanner to give to my friend. He is the size of a particle, but he's still a pretty good person. <laughs> <laughs> Troy looks down at her empty stomach and frowns telepathically. <laughs> Computer! Locate a big thing of chips! Beep, 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 beep. Quarter of Commander Riker, Deck 50. We can beam them over there to engineering and take samples. Then we can give them to the hollow deck to make them into electricity, like the computer wants. Beep, beep, beep. Affirmative. Sick bay. Riker looks like he's fancy, but unstable. Everything in sick bay is not good. Riker, have you seen my son? My instinct is he is going through body changes, and I need to help him adjust his uniform. Wesley decides to roll up with a couple of gorgeous crew members. My mom is a real pain in the box. I'll tell you what. Congratulations to people who don't know her. I should inject you with respect. Ensign Crusher, you need to make sure that I do have fun drugs at parties. No one is going to listen to me if I don't know what's going down. Here, sir, is a serotonin coordinating sensor you can use to get bored all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Riker turns it on and looks like Fettuccine. Beverly smiles at the stars. They are never sick. Yay! Holodeck. Troy and Jordy enter the holodeck with chips and suspicion. I don't know how to make this beyond. The holodeck becomes intensely Hawaiian. Security bears enter. They look great. <laughs> Enjoy the bland taste, computer. We are going to leave. Beep boop. Negative. Jordy screams and screams. <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> Sir, the Enterprise is emitting low levels of Starfleet graduates. We should try and find attractive friend. Worf, kindly get to the surface immediately. Sir, are you sure Worf wants to negotiate with the colony's office? Isn't he kind of inherently dangerous? You have disgraced my father with your words. Worf is kind and capable of dealing with anything that may arise anywhere at any time. Except me. Worf is the captain of my heart, you know. I support him. Who would you have sent? I want someone who parties hard and knows when to fight a Klingon. I want someone with 15 pieces of metal in their face that would satisfy everyone who might rob us. Someone named William Riker, of 
the USS Enterprise. Out of the darkness appears Q. He is clearly surprising. I have presented myself. Which humans did I interrupt now? Ah, the re redoubtable headship. You! I don't want you to interfere with my life, mister. I am the universe. How do you like this? Suddenly, there are gasps from the bridge. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Captain, Someone's check this me? out. Oh my god. What's in the can? <laughs> What's in that fucking can? What's in the fucking space it's, can? It's Purple flirt from Jimmy out. Neutron. Suddenly, there are gasps from the bridge and then impact. <gasps> Wham, all the sound is coming from the explosion. Data is almost frenzied with a tricorder and scans his head and body for orders. Riker stares at his feet. Oh, there they are. Captain. He has dropped a big scissors on us. Close up on Picard's frustrated forehead. This is now my chief concern. Fade out the text. To be continued. Star Trek. Awesome. <laughs>